In, in, in North Dakota, I think our biggest concern is sustainability. It, it, it might not be, you know, it, it comes out in different ways in different families, whether it's economics or, or where their kids are going to work or how they're going to pay for college education and, and those sorts of things. But how do we sustain uh, the, a future, a bright future in our state that's so um, dependent on, on economies that swing significantly? <clears throat> As an, a sleeping giant, I think, in North Dakota and, and in in Texas and California, I think everywhere, a sleeping giant is addiction. And whether it's drugs or alcohol, or you cannot move forward and tackle the problems of economics and homelessness and, and getting people sustainable jobs and incomes and a quality of life that they're, they're due if they aren't healthy. And, uh, and there is a huge addiction problem. I just came back from, um, California on Saturday night and then flew out here on Sunday. We were in, Fre um, not in Fresno, I've got Fresno on my mind, Venice. And I was stunned by the homelessness, absolutely <clears throat> sickened. And uh, leaving one of the nicest neighborhoods out of a fancy bar where everyone was spending $15 on a drink and literally stepping over a homeless person who was face first on the ground. <clears throat> and everyone was doing it, walking down the street, buying a $15 ice cream cone. I mean, how is this possible to have that huge um, disparity in income levels? In, in a pl and then driving up 20 minutes into Beverly Hills and seeing people that clearly were looking for ways to spend money. It's just, ugh, I couldn't live there. God bless you. <laughs> I could not live in California.